I must say that it's uh, been a very uh, hectic uh, show for us. Uh, of course, the first days started a little bit slow with the, all the uh, ministerial delegation walking around and so on. Yesterday we had a very good day with um, getting all the, all the uh, good delegations in and uh, we, we were really busy yesterday and uh, it's continuing today. So, so far it's been very successful for, um, from our side. Uh, besides the Gripen, what other um, uh, programs have you submitted your uh, your, uh, your products for? Uh, we, we are right now pitching for about uh, 20 to 30 different business opportunities and I'm very proud to say that the majority of everything that we are uh, showing in this in our stall is either in an RFI, RFP or delivery stage. So we are li really looking forward uh, and we're looking at India as a key market and a g growing market for us. And uh, the show as such uh, really uh, prove that there is uh, great uh, interest in our product. So uh, that's so far, it's looking very good. Any particular product you can tell us a little bit more yeah, about? Yeah, we, we are uh, um, looking at the air defense. We have the RBS-70, the V-Shorad uh, uh, laser beam ride um, air defense missile system is yeah. one. We have our uh, bread and butter here in India, which is the cargo stuff system. We have supplied that to the Indian Army since the mid-70s, and that is an ongoing story where we also have a license agreement with the ordnance factories. Yeah. Uh, the aircraft next to me here is the maritime patrol aircraft, which okay. is also coming up demands from both Coast Guard and Navy. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the maritime patrol aircraft? Uh, maritime patrol aircrafts, right now there is uh, two uh, requirements. One is from the Coast Guard, it's from a lease deal, and where we are offering the Saab 340. Yeah. It's a uh, well-proven well concept that we have, that we have delivered to a number of different countries. Uh, the Navy also have a uh, requirement for a medium-range maritime patrol aircraft, where we are then offering the, the slightly bigger version, which is the Saab 2000. Uh, and what about the offset programs in India? The offset is, uh, the way we look at offset is that it's a door opener and uh, it's also, uh, we want to do business and create a win-win situation and we look upon India and the Indian market as, as truly a, a good opportunity when it comes to offset because you have such a fast growing private industry coming up so there's no, we don't have any problems finding partners both on the uh, PSU side as well as on the private side. So it's, uh, I would say it's, uh, of course Offset is challenging, but it's also a way to grow our own business and to create good commercial uh, uh, businesses. And the outcome of course then also would be that it's creating uh, Offset uh, credits. But I would say the off Offset credit as such is for us a secondary part. Yeah. which I think that's where we are successful and we've proven so worldwide uh, to be extremely successful and our track, track record when it comes to offset is outstanding. I, was, I would doubt that anyone can show a similar track record when it comes to actually delivering the offset to uh, the customer as required. Uh, there was a story about uh, Samtel, is there something? Yeah, we have uh, just announced, we have signed an MOU with Samtel on an uh, it's a new product, it's a head-up display system, we call it RIGS. It's uh, used for uh, uh, private business jets, helicopters, and fighters, trainers. And it could be used for both civilian as well as military use. It's, uh, and, and Samtel recognizes one of the best companies and leading companies here in India when it comes to display systems, etc. So uh, we have been in discussion with them for quite some time and now we have reached an agreement where we will do the technology transfer of this product to India, okay. to Samtel. Mm -hmm. Samtel will uh, participate with uh, in production as well as R&D to uh, optimize it in accordance with the uh, local requirements. But in the end, we also uh, are pitching for the export out of India from Excellent. India. Excellent. Thank you so much. For Thank you. you. Eddie, can you please give us an update on the Gripen in the MMRC? Yeah, sure. Uh, we we have um, we continue flying with the demonstrator, and we now have the IASA flying. We have the mission approach Warner, satellite communication, and the program is going very well. We also had the pleasure of the Indian Air Force in Sweden uh, end of last year, and we're now very busy to prepare for our uh, flights here that will commence mid March. 
Okay, and so the Acer radar has been developed, you said, because last time there was some. Yes, it's been it's flying as we speak. All right, thank you.